She will not say get spice where they use cook ofako where they boost immune system. I go give you a full gist. Welcome to my channel. Now me be Madam Sabi Cook. Make I go drink water at the cup. Chef two three for we day. Open that program we day. Kitchen program we day. Chopu chopu let me day. Madam Sabi Cook. She the whole campaign for South TV. We the whole campaign. Chef 234, make with a cook, make with a chocolate, and make with a belly full. Now me, be Madame Sabi Cook. <laughs> For South TV, we the whole campaign. So welcome back. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Alright? In a clean pan, we they make ofaku. But there's a secret ingredient that I'll be using in making this ofaku that I want to show you today. Make sure you watch this video to the end. I added my goat meat, tribe, and now I added some sliced onions, seasoning cubes, and salt. So I added warm water to it right now. So what I'm going to do after adding it, I'm going to stir it to make sure that everything mixed together. All right, make everything marry each other. All the ingredients, all the ingredients, go marry themselves. Eh? So when I'm done stirring everything together, I'll cover and cook. Okay. So while that is cooking, I'm going to marinate my Titus fish. That's mackerel fish. I added some salt to it, so I'm going to grill it. So I'll take it into the oven. So while that is done. I'm getting my apple ready. This soup is sharp, 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 sharp at the door. So right now it's time for me to wash my dry fish. I'm using hot water. I added salt to it. This is to make the washing process very easy. This is crayfish and some obey. That's African nutmeg. I blended it into powder form and set it aside. The next thing is for me to blend my bell peppers. Okay. I'm going to be blending it right now. I'm blending it with some onions. To further boost the taste of this ofako guys all right so after blending it you set it aside let's check up on our protein and see how it's doing it's doing pretty well so right now i think it needs another water so i'm adding another water into it to enable the cooking process more easier okay so that the meat will be softer because goat meat eh, it they good make it day very very soft all right so i'm going to cook it very well so that it will be very 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 soft the way i want it all right so while we are done with that while we are done checking up on it i'll cover and go and check up on our titus fish look at oh gosh you know they do we make a chop up but we're not gonna chop up yet let's go back to our protein and see how it's doing now we have gotten what we want okay we've gotten what we want so what i'm going to do right now is to remove it from the sauce remove it from the meat stock then put it in a baking tray and grill yes if you don't have an oven you can fry but you can totally skip this part if you don't want to fry it if you don't want to grill it it's totally fine this is totally optional i always like to grill my goat's meat particularly when it's a male goat's meat yes i want to grill it because i i somehow i want the taste not to be too much in the ofako okay so that's why i'm going to drill, grill it all right so while that is going in that stock i will be adding our aqua concentrate that's our banker concentrate that's the concentrate i got from the aqua that i pounded and i was able to get this so i'm going to be adding all of it into the meat stock so when you're getting towards the end you have to be very careful so that all the sand that is in the aqua will not go into the pot all right uh -huh. so i'm going to add a little bit of another water to make it smoother so that it will be easy for the water to come without the sand so if you have watched up this video up until this point and you, you have not subscribed please now hmm? and it down they beg you support my youtube ministry all right so now that's the sand that is in the pot i've removed it to so cover and go to the oven to check up on the meat look at how the meat is this is exactly how i want it i don't want it to be too dry okay look at how it looks 
very yummy delicious. It be me like say make have a chop am. I know say it be you like say make you send a chop am. So let's go back to our banga and see how it's doing. It's doing pretty well. Okay, look at the oil. I've started bubbling on top of the aqua concentrate. So I'm gonna be adding the tripe right now. I'm gonna be throwing it into the banga sauce. So the next thing is uh, dry fish. I washed it neatly. So after adding the dry fish, so I'm going to be throwing in the grilled goat's meat into it right now. So throw it in. Very well. Yes. Then I'm going to add the peppers and tomatoes. This is the way blended away with crayfish. So I'm going to stir it together to enable all the ingredients go into the sauce very, very well. Okay. So after stirring it, you cover and allow it to cook a little. So let's check up on it and see how it's doing. It's doing very well. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So I'm going to be transferring the fish into it right now. So after transferring the fish, you don't need to wait so long again before you know that your banga is gradually getting to the last stage. That's the last stage. So while we're waiting for that, let me prep my vegetables. I'll be using saint leaf, saint leaf for this, guys. So there's one thing that somebody told me that there's one ingredient they use in making ofako that boosts immune system. I don't know that ingredient. I don't know that spice. Okay. So have you ever heard about this before? Or is it just me that heard about it? If you have heard about it, let me know in the comment section. Now, tell me what you're going to be serving this ofaku with. I'll be serving mine with hot rice. Rice will do very, very hot. Recreate this. Let me know what you think about this video. See you guys in my next video. Until I come on our way again, make another chocolate. Bye.